The refugee crisis in Ukraine is getting worse by the day. The U.N. estimating more than 5 million people have now fled the country since Russia's invasion, and some of those refugees, survivors of the Holocaust. Ariel Zwang, the CEO of the American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee, joining me now to talk about efforts to rescue these survivors. Thank you so much, Ariel, for being with us. Thank you, Kira. And it's so symbolic, uh, as you know, because it's Holocaust Remembrance Day, Yom HaShoah. And as we watch what is happening overseas, we can't help but think about those Ukrainian Holocaust survivors. Just put into perspective what you have been dealing with and what they've been saying to you as you've reached out to them to try and help them to once again have to escape such tyranny. <laughs> We have been working at JDC with Holocaust survivors for generations, literally since even while World War II was still happening uh, in displaced persons camps after World War II and continue until this day throughout Ukraine and in fact, all of the former Soviet Union. So this is a sacred day for us and a sacred mission for us. Many of the, of the 10,000 people that we, uh, Holocaust survivors that we served in Ukraine uh, as the war was beginning, have said to us, uh, I'm hiding in a basement again, and the last time I hid in this basement was World War II, and I didn't expect that to be happening again at this point in my life. And whether it's providing continued home care and support for those who choose to remain, or helping to evacuate, in some cases, with extraordinary uh, cooperation of, of dozens of people that make it possible, as well as the claims conference and the German government, we've also evacuated dozens of people who are homebound and require medical evacuation, as you see here. I mean, it's just, it's heart-wrenching. I mean, I've had the chance to talk to Holocaust survivors here in the United States. They are watching, watching what's happening overseas, and it's just breaking their heart, Ariel. And, you know, you, you, you point something out, and it doesn't surprise me. These are the most resilient human beings we've ever known, right? And, and so for those who want to stay and not flee, what do they tell you? What, what are the stories, the reasoning for why they, they, they just want to, they don't want to leave their home. You know, uh, these are folks just just like 95% of the Ukrainian public who say, um, I live here. This is my country. Everyone I know is here. My family is here. And for now, the place that I know, as terrible as the conditions are here, uh, maybe better than going off into the unknown. And for the most part, those who stay, that's the reason that they stay. You know, uh, in serving 10,000 Holocaust survivors and, and tens of thousands of other elderly than people in need in, in, in Ukraine, there's also thousands and thousands of home care workers. These Holocaust survivors, their lives depend on, on their continuing to provide that home care. And these heroes are continuing to do it. We know stories of home care workers taking uh, elderly people, survivors into their own homes in order to continue to care for them. Wow. Well, it's absolutely incredible what you're doing at the American Jewish Joint Distribution Committee. And we lift you up uh, for what you're doing. And thank you so much for just spending time with us, Ariel. Thank you so much. Thank you. And please do watch our ABC News Live special tonight, Bearing Witness, Fighting the Rise of Anti-Semitism. I will be anchoring from the Holocaust Memorial Museum right here in Washington, D.C. to mark Holocaust Remembrance Day. The in-depth half hour will feature also a very inspiring conversation with a Holocaust survivor and also more on what you can do to stop the hate. I hope you'll tune in to Bearing Witness, Fighting the Rise of Anti-Semitism tonight, ABC News Live, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time time. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.